Stina, first of all, we must say you are here riding in front of your home nation. Tell us what that feels like. It's an incredible feeling. I can't wait to get started on the competition. I mean, when do we get this opportunity again? It's uh, There's going to be a lot of crowd and it's, it's just a special feeling being here in, in Denmark. Yeah. Now, of course, FEI European Championships are not new to you. Tell us about two years ago. Uh, two years ago, I won a gold medal in the freestyle on my um, pony back then, um, who sadly died a month later. Um, but we're here again. I'm here on a new horse. I just had it for four months, and it's going to be exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Now, t to have the para dressage alongside the dressage and jumping and running concurrently exactly at the same time, that must mean an awful lot for the para dressage teams. Exactly, it means so much. It's like we're more a part of of the the whole Christian world, and it's it's such a you know a, how do you say it? like um. Uh, what do you say? <laughs> it's like it's um, mm, <laughs> it's it's like a, a recognition of yeah, yeah of our being a, a recognition. Being a recognition. Okay, cool. Uh, Stina, for para dressage to be running concurrently for the very first time in the history of the sport with dressage and jumping at European Championships is must be just so fantastic for you. It really is. It's, it's such a it's such a big deal for us because it's like a, a really a re recognition of of our sport and and we we're, we're all really happy that it is like that. It, you know, it was as well in um, Kentucky in 2010. It was such a big experience for everybody, and I think it's um, it's important for our sport. Um, so yeah, it's big deal. Now, you mentioned that you lost your winning ride uh, um, two years ago. You've now got Steffi Graf. Tell tell us about Steffi Graf, the horse. Yeah, <laughs> Steffi is a ten-year-old mare, and she is a mare. So <laughs> that that have some, you know, it's it's more difficult to be riding a mare, but it's also a lot more fun. And I I'm really learning a lot more because I have to be more sensitive in my riding. It's it's just, it's it's a learning process. But that being said, she's an angel. You know, she's she just takes it all so cool, and she really wants to to do her best every time on her back, and and. You know, it's it's just it's actually touching. You know, to to meet a horse who wants to please you that much, um, and that's why I'm here after only four months. I mean, it's because she wants to, and I I love her for that. Can I ask you, how did you find her? <laughs> actually, um, it, uh, we were chatting at my trainer's place, and then a, a, a man who comes there with his daughter said, "Well, I have a horse for sale." So it's really just like totally a coincidence, and she standing twenty. 10 minutes from my home and it was yeah all really funny and actually Ricky uh, from England his solitaire is bought from the same owner so it's uh, yeah <laughs> well we ought to talk about some of the competitors that you've got here because at, at the last European Championships that you've already said that you won a gold medal you in fact you stopped Great Britain from winning a, a clean sweep of gold medals didn't you yeah, and I mean Great Britain is a really strong team, and they they have a lot of good groundwork, and so. But it, it was nice that they didn't get them all. It was, <laughs> I have to admit. Well, I mean, that was then, but it, and your reputation as a successful Danish rider is is well documented. I have noticed since we've been here for two days that your name is everywhere. You're on the front page of the newspapers and magazines and things. There's a lot of pressure for you on you here. Well, you say that, but I haven't really noticed. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't really care about that because it's like I had this horse for four months, and it's it's a new partnership, and I just really want to do my best. And and if that results in a gold medal, then that's of course cool. But if it doesn't, it's really I just have a good ride, and I'm pleased, and my horse is sweet. Well, that means everything to me. So, yeah. Now, what about the facilities here? Are you pleased with the show that you've seen for the last two days? Um, I, yeah, I think it would be really good when we get started, and I think uh, the um, um, the people behind us have done a huge job. You know, done such a great job. So it's going to be really exciting to see how it all turns out. Well, we wish you the very best of luck, Stina, with Steffi Graf. And when do you start? Uh, Wednesday for the first time, yeah, and then Friday, and we finish Sunday like everybody else. Well, we hope you take another gold medal, at least one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed.